Hi babe, welcome. I am quickly going to show you how to make this number 25. For Christmas, you can incorporate it into any hairstyle, any braid hairstyle. So to start off, we are making number two. We make the round belly on top and then a straight section down. Now we are going to make the bar and then slant the tummy area to be as number two is supposed to be. Shear that section into two and braid just like this. When braiding, try to braid at the outer part of the number and when you are braiding into a corner, get into that corner completely before you turn. So you saw the way it was almost as if I was braiding her face before I turned around and stepped braiding backwards. This is going to help your, ne your numbers to look sharp and look like numbers. Instead of your number two to be looking like a letter S, it is very easy for that to happen. So in order to help combat that, braid well into pointed angles very well. And when you're braiding around rounded areas, go around very well. That is all I have to say. If you're going to add, if you're going to add hair extension, make it dangle then you do it this way. If you want to braid it into like a ponytail, you just incorporate it into your braid and continue towards the center of the head or wherever your pony is going to be. But I just added red and white because of Christmas again. Now we are making number five. The top section is straight. I make the first bar on top, the rounded tummy, make it round. Share the tummy area into two like this so we have three different sections the top one is straight the two down their back part is rounded so now we start braiding from the straight one on top of course you know this place you have to stand and start braiding when it's time to go down here cut a little section to guide you braid down until you get to the very end of that line like one more extra circle of braid even when you've reached there before you turn so that you can make it like as pointed as you can and then we, when braiding this rounded part make it rounded make it look robust go around the like make it a nice curve don't be too eager to turn around take the bend very very well so that your number five is going to look robust and healthy looking well fed add your braid extension if you want if not a tip I have, if you have braid dangling and you don't want it down, you can bend it back on top of the braid and use a needle and thread to stitch the hair on top of the previous braid. That's if you're confused about what to do with the tail of the braids. But for this one, I'll be using green beads so that I'll have red, white and green. Gold is missing, I know, but that's our Christmas vibe. So we are just going to add the beads and that will be done. On top of her hair, I packed a. <laughs> it looks like a slow, a snowman, right? But it looks like voodoo. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make a snowman, but maybe because of my choice of the eyes for the doll, it made it look like juju. So if you can get those googly eyes, those eyes for toys, and you use it on your snowman, it's going to come out better than mine. Look at mine; it's like juju. <laughs> the tutorial is also on my channel. 